awesome. <laughs> so I come home from a meeting, a little bit frustrated. These guys cross the street, and I see this sweet little boy with what? What is that? What is that? Quit turning your face away from me. What is all that? And then I see this. I see this. And I know you didn't go outside while I was gone. So I start looking around. The first thing I see is this, which is a lipstick tube. It's kind of starting to make sense, isn't it, Doug? Hmm? A lipstick tube. So I come back here. I'm, not, I'm a little scared to know what that is. And then I see he's got Kylie in the floor. You don't put Kylie in the floor. But none of these are busted. But there's busted pieces. So I start looking around. Doug's favorite hiding spots. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Put, put the lipstick down. Drop the lipstick. Oh, oh, there it is. I feel like this is what it's probably like to have kids. Oh my gosh. Are we really still chewing up the lipstick? On the right, this is my MAC lipstick in my favorite color, Whirl. It's an expensive lipstick. And then this is my By Beauty lipstick. Wow, so many wows. So, Doug's in trouble. He got lipstick all over his daddy's hat. He put Kylie in the floor. So that's how my Thursday's going. He's still eating. Uh-uh, don't bow. No, that's not gonna make it better. You put Kylie in the book. Don't you dare go back in there and get them lipsticks. Uh, okay guys, so now that we have calmed that down and the blanket is completely ruined, look, just completely. Um, I mean, honestly, I've been kind of looking for a reason to get rid of that blanket, but Doug really likes it. Um, it just is like a, it's a little too yellow for my taste and it sits on our bed because it's, Doug's. Um, but now he doesn't get a blanket. I'm going to throw it away. I'll get him another one. He's too spoiled. But just wanted to share life with Doug 101. I came into the house so fast because I saw Doug had lipstick on and I had to use the bathroom and I had to start the vacuum. It's just been, it's a lot. It's just been a lot. So happy vlogmas day 20. So basically Sam and I have just kind of decided that we're really over Vlogmas. It, especially the past two weeks, has been so hard for both of us to work 40 hours a week and then come home and be peppy and be into Vlogmas and do fun things which we really don't want to do after we've worked a really stressful week. So the vlogs were kind of boring and kind of unnecessary so we were like, you know what? Our happiness and enjoying this time together is more important than like missing out on certain things or like, you know, running yourself to death um, to get a vlog up every day. So we are pretty much done with it. We're gonna just do like three vlogs a week from here on out like normal um, and maybe we'll reconvene next year. I don't know, but we're kind of over it. It is officially when I'm filming this five days away from Christmas. Uh, it's the 20th. And I just finished up my last day of work. Um, well, actually not my last day of work before Christmas, but the last day of work for the week. I have a meeting on Monday and that's pretty much it. Nobody wants to do anything, you know, around Christmas time. Um, but it has been one hell of a work week. And like I have six projects left. So I thought college was bad with finals. <laughs> Guess what? Projects don't go away when you like, or have a, a job and instead of getting a grade you get to keep your job so it's just a little crazy um but i'm so grateful for my job it's been two years that i've been at this company and it is just crazy why did my email just go off it's after work hours don't these people know 
real quick before I go check that um, I wanted to show you guys by the way I did get my nails done they were just horrendous and like uneven and so I went to the nail salon and I was just trying to get them fixed and then the lady beside me had a really pretty nail color on and I was like okay I gotta do it so I got just like a silver glitter I believe it's like 203 um, from next generation nails but wanted to show you guys. So we are going to start hosting an annual New Year's Eve party every year. We did it last year and we were not prepared. We planned like two, three days ahead and it was so much fun. So this year I was like, fine, I wanna get prepped. I want to, I want to be ready for this. And one thing we didn't have last year was the champagne flute. So I ordered these off Amazon. They're like wedding flutes. Like I would never have these at my wedding because let me tell you, they would break. So there we go. It's this like cute little, it's like got this like dusty gold on it. It's really cool. So I'm going to be putting that with the rest of the stuff. Even though this is way too many. I'll probably save these and what we don't drink out of this New Year's Eve, we will drink out of next New Year's Eve. So I have to clean for the rest of the day. I did Walmart grocery pickup today and it was absolutely life changing. Um, they're not, they say you're like not supposed to tip the people or it's not like expected. Uh, it's Christmas time. More than now, more than ever, I'm going to tip people. And I tipped the guy and he just looked at me and he was like, the, it's paid for already. And I was like, yes, I know this is for you. And he was like, oh, and he like shoved it in his pocket. Um, but it literally, I, I showed up, I like got an email and it said, tell us when you're on the way. I clicked a button. It said, I'm on the way. I went and parked in the parking spot that said Walmart pickup. I sat in the line or in that spot for, I don't know, all of 35 seconds before the guy comes out and he goes, Robinson, he loaded my trunk and I left. Why have I not been doing this? I don't know. Hey friends. So just me again. <laughs> Sam is actually um, helping one of our friends move his sofa or something right now. Um, so tonight we are doing Christmas with our good friends. We are so excited, like all our married or engaged married, engaged to be married friends. Um, so I've got some things I've got to do today and I figured I could vlog, but he'll be in the, tomorrow's clips because we've got to clean this house from the top to the bottom because we have not done that so really exciting news that i was surprised with yesterday i'm getting a mac an imac on friday so i am like so excited sam and i he's leaving the decision up to me on whether or not i want a 27 inch or a 21 inch um and that's kind of like why it's Friday, I have to go and play with it and you know, put my hands on it and kind of see um, what size is gonna be right for me. And him too, because he, he edits videos now and um, so it'll be super, super fun for us to do that. But in the meantime, this office is really bad. So I'm just kind of not happy with the way the office looks. We've got like, first of all, this is unacceptable because I just like threw all this stuff up here. Ignore it. Um, but a lot of this stuff is work stuff, which will actually go back to the office after Christmas. I've just been home right now. We have a Wi-Fi issue at work. So I brought like my big, big, big monitor home, which I actually need to measure and see what size that one is that's probably a good idea and then that's my work laptop that's shut right there um so i brought that home that will go back to the office like normal i kind of want to get into these and figure out what the heck i'm going to do with all the crap inside of those and those and then i'm thinking i kind of want to move some things around um that is obviously like max but this is a little chaotic and i'm not super crazy about it um so we're gonna have to talk about this me and him and then this wall has like nothing on it so I don't know. I think I kind of just want to like step up the the office game in here. I feel like it's just kind of like a, a hodgepodge room right now. And I really want to work on this. So I will work on this a little bit off camera. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog it. But the big thing I wanted to show you guys is I've got to make some spinach dip. It is so good. It is so easy and I just figured what the heck like you guys are all about these recipes and this one is 
probably one of my favorite holiday recipes like the one thing that I look forward to at my Nana's every year is spinach dip <laughs> and everybody makes it a little bit different you can add different things but I'm going to copy my mommy's recipe and my mom's recipe my mom's recipe can literally be found on the back of one of the ingredients like she literally uses the most generic one but it's so good so I'm gonna do that I also oh lord have mercy bought some cleaning supplies today out of my favorite 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 spray this is cover up my face so it'll stop auto focusing on me this is the Lysol Kitchen Pro. You guys, this is my favorite spray for the kitchen. And I'm out. We needed bleach, we needed just a few different things. Dishwasher pods, all the boring adult stuff. Our house is a wreck! Oh my God! Okay, so to make the like, super simple chilled version of the chopped span, uh, spinach dip. This is literally all you need. The vegetable recipe mix. And this is actually where the recipe for the full mix is. It tells you on here to use Hellman's mayonnaise. Yeah, as my mother puts it, I was raised right. So we use Dukes. And then chopped spinach, you can do frozen. Uh, my mom steams hers. I'm gonna steam this and then I'm actually gonna cut it up a little bit and then this and then you just chill it for two hours. So this is literally all you need. You can add onions, you can add walnuts, you can add a few different things, but this is all I'm gonna use. And that is it it is all done it took about I don't know three minutes to prepare probably um, six minutes if you count the steam time but I'm just gonna put this lid on and chill it until the party so we've got about three hours it says you only need two but got three hours till the party so it will chill for three <laughs>